Welcome back everyone to Retired by Harris. It is Throwback Thursday. And what I just finished doing, I took a, a walk downtown, a nice slow, easy walk downtown with the Sony DSC R1. And what makes this a throwback? Well, this camera, this camera came out in 2005. And we're gonna see what kind of pictures we can get with it in 2023. And with that being said, I will see you on the other side. Well, how do you think this 18-year-old camera did? Leave a comment below. My, my input is, I think it did pretty good. Yes, it's not, compared to 2023, it's not as sharp as some other cameras. The focusing is not as fast, and you only get three frames per second. But sometimes that allows you to slow down, enjoy the photographic process. Plus, when you think about it, it answers one of the questions a lot of photographers ask in the now. Why don't someone make a digital camera that gives you the film look? Well, this camera actually comes close to giving that film look, those nice, beautiful, muted colors and all. But in, and this came out in 2005, but unfortunately, no one bought it in 2005. Of course, it might have been because it's also priced at close to $1,000 now. But now, if you look around, you can get it anywhere from maybe $75 to maybe $180. Just make sure you try to get the cleanest model you can with the least amount of shutter count on it. And what I like about it, it's kind of st uh, conversation star. This is a Sony's first and the only APS size sensor point and shoot camera. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And I like it. The colors come out pretty good. I got a great deal on it. And plus, I like old cameras. And that's what's part of made this Throwback Thursday, throwback. Went back to 2005. And as always, you know, I want to thank you for following, me, for following me on my photographic journey. And if you like what you see, again, leave a comment below. Because if you like it, that motivates me to go out and do more, more videos. And of course, if you don't like, it's more important that you leave a comment and tell me why. Because that also will motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them next time. Because you know I say it all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, you know the rest. The more you learn, you didn't know. And thank you again, and I will see you next time. 